Hi, so today I'm going to show you how the compressor works in OBS. Let's have a look at the filter. Click on this cog, select filters, and then you'll be able to see the compressor on. I've taken off noise gate and noise suppression for the sake of this exercise. Now there are a couple of sliders you can manipulate here with the compressor. And most notably, the two that you will be playing with is ratio and threshold. What is a compressor? It's the function that makes the sound go lower if your sound goes too high. At the moment, the ratio is set at three to one. But let me show you what that means so you can understand it. I changed the ratio to two to one. That means if my decibel was plus 6 dB, it will go down to 3 dB. If I make this go up, so at the moment I'm leaving it on a ratio of 3 to 1. Next, let's look at threshold. The threshold is when the compressor will kick in. If it goes to a certain decibel, it will start working. If it doesn't reach that level, it won't work. At the moment, I've got it set on negative 18.9 dB. Let's do a test. The way I test how I check my decibel levels is I apply my mic, and in this case, it's my lapel mic over here, and I start talking normally. Test. Check one, two, three, and then I talk at the loudest level that I can. Check one, two, three. You can see the compressor is kicking in so that the sounds aren't distorted. But if I were to turn off the compressor, check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. So how do I test? When I have my lapel mic on or when I have my mic on, this is what I do. First, I start off at 0 dB. And then I talk normally. Test 1, 2, 3. And then I talk at my loudest. Test 1. If I see that the level goes way into the red, then I lower my threshold by 5. Test 1. It's still going into the red. Let's lower it again. Test one, it's slightly better now. Test one, one, two, three, and that's at my loudest. And the loudest mark, you can see here in OBS that it marks the level for you at which you last spoke at the highest. If you want it to go just into the yellow, just reduce it by a little bit more. Test one, and now my highest level is at negative 12 dB. Now bear in mind, the more compression that you do, the yuckier your sound's gonna be. So don't go overboard. If you're at the ratio of two to one, that's considered light. But if you go all the way to 10, that's pretty heavy compression. Now the next two sections will be about attack and release. Simply put, the attack is how quickly the compressor is going to kick in. So if it detects and goes past the threshold, it will kick in after one millisecond. In my case, that's almost instantaneous. But sometimes you don't want it to kick in that quickly, so you increase the attack. And release is after it's kicked in, how long will it stay before it lets go? And then there's this strange option here called output gain. Why would I want to gain output if I'm trying to compress something? Well, sometimes if you've compressed it way too much, you might want to adjust it and offset it and bring it back up. And this is what it does. So suppose you're doing something crazy like you're singing really loud. Well, maybe you want the next part of your song to be a little bit louder so that it's not like such a big dip. Then you would increase the output gain. 
There's also a section here about sidechain and ducking. In general, sidechain is basically for two audio sources. For example, if you had background music or gaming music and you talk but your game is too loud and nobody can hear you talk, then you put on sidechain or ducking. It ducks under so that it allows the main control volume to stay consistent. So once you select this, apply the settings in the description and it will help you when you talk through a game or through background music. Okay, I hope that's helped everyone diffuse the confusion about what a compressor does. See you guys next time. Wow, you've made it to the end screen. Not a lot of people make it here. Click on the subscribe button or the like button or the bell button or any of these videos. They're all buttons for you to press. It's really fun, trust me. Press them, press them, press them, press, press all of them.